race to the last final. Well, Bobby Labonte has won the race. Dave? And his guys got to jump off the wall instead. Shock from most people, but you, sir, knew you had a great race car. Were, I mean, how surprised were you? Oh, man, I was surprised. If you could, uh, we don't let you listen to our radio usually, but uh, that what, was- What went on in your radio? I'm telling you, I, yeah, I said two last four that I said, you know, Fatback goes, he, you know, keep going, keep going. He'll make a mistake. And I said, he's just playing with me, and he's just going wide open. He come off turn two there, and that thing wiggled, and I was like, I couldn't believe it. I mean, I just absolutely couldn't believe it. I, things went our way today, finally. So, uh, these guys never gave up. You know, we had a qualified second, and about wrecked the first five laps of the race, and then finally run over some stuff when they had a wreck, and the car was just terrible. So, we finally got, the track came to us, and uh, so the guys did a great job. Uh, this Interstate Battery Chevrolet was good. Gotta thank the folks at MBNA, Adver, Centos, Cannon, uh, Champion, Coca-Cola, uh, Norman, all the people, all the people back in uh, Interstate. Uh, just gotta thank them. Fatback, we never gave up. I, I don't know. I have to count, but this might have put us back on the winter circle. We got knocked off a few weeks ago, so maybe it put us back on there. I'm not sure yet, but uh, it's a great day for us, and uh, we never gave up. The guys never gave up. I had a good race car, so it's kind of cool to win the last race of the year. It's my third time I've done that, so that's, that's a lot of fun. And the last cup, the last race of the Winston Cup Series. Now. You, uh, all week people have been talking about how this track compares to Atlanta. You run very well there. How comfortable were you here based on that? Well, I felt really good from the get-go, but uh, the beginning of the race was just terrible for me. And uh, I guess the oil just came up through the asphalt because nobody was on the racetrack all morning. The heat got to it. And, uh, you know, we just had a, uh, had a terrible, miserable start. Uh, but the track came around to us. It, it, it's kind of like an old Atlanta, but it's not really but it does drive a little bit like it, but not a lot. But it's a, it's a lot of fun. Uh, the guys here at Miami, they did a great job with this racetrack. I just can't say enough for it. Uh, it's something, I think this is a track of the future right here because uh, it'll only get better, I'm sure. And uh, it was a lot of fun to race here today. We had Jimmy Buffett here today. Well, I didn't wait, but he came today and we sat with him in the driver's meeting. Uh, I can go on about a lot of stuff that's happened this year. I didn't have a chance to do this since Atlanta, so. Uh, but anyway, it's a good run for us. Got to congratulate Matt Kenseth. One dare do a burnout on his day. But uh, anyway, it was a good day for our uh, Interstate Battery Chevrolet. Goodyear tires held up and uh, a lot of fun. He said it. His second win of the season, and the other one came at Atlanta. Matt? Dave, you can start to write out a check for $1.7 million. Jimmy Johnson, your goal to get second in points. You got it, my friend. Yeah, we got it. And I'm just so thankful for all the hard work from Hendrick Motorsports, the support from Lowe's and all their employee owners. Uh, this whole race team, I mean, it, you know, everybody hears the song and dance about the, the, the thanks that goes out to their teams, but man, it's, it's totally needed and it's why this Lowe's team is where it is today. And I need to thank everybody at Hendrick Motorsports from engine department, chassis, bodies, the whole nine yards, my guys over the wall, uh, the guys in the shop, the 2448 shop. Uh, this is a great year for us. And, uh, you know, we just keep moving up. I, I've never been in a series for my third year yet uh, to see what will what will happen so you know fifth second maybe we can uh, be in Matt's spot next year so great year he ends the day third on the board second in the point standings he'll have a big big check awaiting for him in New York City Alan okay Matt let's uh, check out how they finish today in the Ford 400 Bobby Labonte with his second win of the season and Joe Gibbs Racing's third win here at this racetrack in five years Jimmy Johnson third, Johnny Benson, best of the season. And you see in the top 10, no Fords. But I think next year they're going to be a little bit better because NASCAR, I'm told, has given them the new cylinder in with about 20 more horsepower. So that should help. But Bill Elliott finishing eighth. Mm -hmm. Todd Bodine was the top finishing Ford in 11th. Terry Labonte nails down the 10th spot points. So that's a nice birthday present for Terry. And Larry Floyd with his best ever Winston Cup finish today in 16th place. Happy birthday, Terry Lamont. You said that before, didn't you? Yeah. That final car on the lead lap was Elliott Sadler in 21st place. Now you look at those who had the problems at different times during the day. Rusty Wallace, Earnhardt Jr., Spencer with green flag pit stops just before a caution came out. Kurt Busch would come back to finish 36th. And the rest of the rundown, including the champion, Matt Kenseth, out first today, 29 laps in with an engine failure. But he'll get the trophy officially from NASCAR in just a few moments. That coming up first, Dale Jr. was one of the guys trying to get that second place in the final championship. And came up just a little bit short, but a good run for you guys today after some real trouble on those tires. Yeah, the tire wasn't real good today for us. Uh, our car was real tight, and that probably wasn't helping either, but... You know, it's, ain't nothing Goodyear can do about it. They test and they think they got the right thing and maybe could have used a little bit better tire right there, but uh, we'll know next year. But 
this reminds me of uh, like the last day of school. <laughs> so it's uh, looking forward to going home, having some time off. We, we didn't get straight A's, but we came damn close. Number vacation, winter vacation, and a lot of preparation for Daytona coming up for Junior. Matt? Dave, a big day for Jeff Gordon as a car owner. You're watching the Smoky Burnouts by Matt Kenseth. Very impressive, first off. Yeah, see, that's my problem. I'm just not putting the nose of my car up against the wall. Uh, <laughs> it's all about how you pin the car. Uh, I think he's been practicing. I'll tell you what, that's a pretty awesome burnout right there. And, uh, it's awesome to see Richard Petty and Matt Kenseth out there, uh, you know, seven-time champion and, and latest uh, champion. And, I tell you what, that's that's pretty cool. We had a great day too, you know. Uh, finished fourth in points. Jimmy got to, you know, stayed in second in points. Really proud of everybody at Henry Motorsports, and got to thank all those guys uh, at, at our entire facility and and uh, Henry Motorsports. We won the uh, the engine builder, so I'm excited about that. All all the way around, great effort for the Dupont Chevrolet, and uh, thank Dupont, Pepsi, GMAC, Quaker State, Haas, uh, uh, Delphi, all those guys. Thanks for everything they've done for us all year long. Be back next year trying to do it again. An awesome day for Jeff Gordon. An awesome season as a coroner. He finishes second, fourth in the driver's standings, Marty. Bill, I cannot imagine the sh sheer disappointment. Did you have any clue that something was going wrong? Yeah, when it blew out. No, I mean, we had a great race car. I mean, our, our Dodge ran so well today, and just, it's an unfortunate thing. But, I mean, you know, you win them sometimes like that. I don't know if I've ever won one like that, but I've sure lost them like that. But I'm proud of the guys. I mean, we've done an awesome job this year in finishing the top ten in points. And we've accomplished a lot of goals. But, you know, obviously it wasn't our day, but um, I'm proud of the guys. A long winter for you coming up tomorrow, and you've got some decisions to make, Bill. I ain't got no decisions to make, man. I'm ready. You're ready to race? I'm ready to go. <laughs> All right. Sounds like he's ready to race next year in 2004. Yeah, when you have a couple of weeks like he's yeah, had, exactly. you don't start thinking about retirement. Johnny Benson, best finish of the season today. Let's hear from him. He won two finishing tourna fishing tournaments this week, and you almost won another race, Johnny. A great effort by you and this team. It was, you know, uh, Ten Valvoline Pontiac just done a tremendous job, and you know, really got to thank uh, Valvoline for the opportunity, and and same with Hendrick Motorsports, but great engines all year long, and it's been pretty cool, you know, just uh, to be able to work with this race team. And Jay Guy's done a tremendous job, James Ince, I mean, everybody. I mean, I hate that to really breaking this deal up because it's just uh, a great, great, great team, and um, and you know, but I got you know, on the same token. Uh, great opportunity for us and really got to thank Winston for the 33 years that they've been just done a tremendous job here and you know my, my next year is uncertainty don't know what I'm going to do but in, in the same token it's been great to, to be here and we'll see what happens for next year. He's still looking for next year but today he ends fourth here in Homestead. We'll talk to the top five here's how the final NASCAR top 10 will look for 2003. Terry Labonte edging ahead of Kurt Busch by 12 points to get that 10th and final spot on the stage. Jimmy Johnson closed that gap considerably with yep. Matt Kim's a 43rd place finish, just nine points back. Jeff Gordon, Kevin Harvick moving up at the expense of Ryan Newman involved in the early crash today. It cost him a two or 300 grand today. And farther on down, Kurt Busch dropping outside the top 10. You see Jamie McMurray officially named the bestest rookie of the year earlier in this race by NASCAR. Greg Biffle drops back two positions today after he had some trouble down in turn one. Michael Walker continues. Bad luck continues. Lost a couple spots today. Setting up the stage for the official presentation of the NASCAR Winston Cup Championship Trophy to Matt Kenseth of the Roush Racing Team by NASCAR President. Mike Helton. NBC Next, PBR Mohegan Sun All-Star Event, world champion Chris Shivers and Bull Riding's All-Stars battling their, uh, their fierce beasts, 2,000 pounds. The excitement of the action continuing here in just moments. Next on NBC with the PBR Bull Riding. That's pretty cool. They've got some kind of hot rod lift. Yeah. Move that car up there. Yeah, what they do, they drive that up underneath the trailers and then brought it up, right? Well, yeah. yeah, well, it wasn't kind of underneath. It was open there. Oh, was it? Yeah. And then they closed it after that. Yeah. All right, in the middle of that group is our Bill Weber. And we're down here waiting for Matt Kenseth to climb out of the car, and that's about to happen. So they're going to get Matt out of the car, and here comes your 2003 NASCAR Winston Cup champion, the official celebration, as is tradition, after the final race of the season. Richard Petty presenting him with his championship flag. 
and that will be added to the top of the podium here along pit road. So Matt will climb up there and raise his banner as the 2003 champion. Congratulations, uh, a disappointing day, but an outstanding season for you, your crew, and of course, Robbie Reiser and Jack Rouse. Yeah, we had a great season. I mean, uh, it's, it's obviously very disappointing to drop out that early in a race and not get to race all day for a victory, but uh, we had a, a wonderful season. I'm uh, real lucky to have such a great team behind me and uh, uh, so uh, honored, you know, to be able to do a victory lap with Richard Petty, the king of uh, stock car racing, and uh, uh, for him to present me with that flag. It's just a huge honor to be up there with all these great champions and uh, uh, just very fortunate, very blessed to have such a great team and people around me. And it's been an amazing season for you, but certainly an amazing career climb for you as well, Matt. Yeah, it's it's been an amazing ride. It still uh, blows my mind from coming from the short tracks to Wisconsin to the day that uh, Robbie Reiser and his family gave me the opportunity to drive their uh, their Bush Series car. And uh, from there, it's just been a whirlwind. Uh, uh, Robbie Reiser has been a great friend of mine. He's been a huge part of our success, and he's been there every step of the way. And uh, he's done a great job uh, organizing this team. Well, let's bring in Andy Schindler, the CEO from RJR, and I think you've got a presentation to make. I sure do. Matt, congratulations on an outstanding year. Congratulations to your number 17 DeWalt Ford team and to Jack Roush Racing. The recognition of the year, I want to present you as the, 19, of the 2003 NASCAR Winston Cup champion, the trophy, and this check for $4,250,000. say thanks to Winston real quick uh, for everything they've done over the last 33 years. Uh, they've been here longer than I have. And uh, thanks also to UCAL 76. They've been a great sponsor of sport for a long time. But uh, really appreciate everything Winston's done. We hate to see you go. And we echo those thoughts as well. So the celebration continues here on the front stretch with Matt Kenseth, check and trophy in hand. And so the season is over. And some thoughts here before we go. First of all, it takes about 140 men and women to put on these so complicated broadcasts of these races. Their talents individually and collectively, their dedication, their passion for the sport. I marvel at them all. Thank them so much for their effort these last 20 weeks. It's been an eventful season right down to the last lap and the drama we saw here today. Thank you for joining us for NASCAR on NBC. We cannot wait till we bring you the 2004 Daytona 500.